Hello everybody in Fort Worth, it's great to be with you. My name is Maddie Parker and I'm, it's a pleasure to really get to serve as your mayor. And I'm here with my good friend, Brandon Bennett, who wears many hats at City Hall. We appreciate you. I know it's been a really rough year and a half, but he's here with me today as truly the, the chief health official um, in public health for the city of Fort Worth. He's been on the front lines um, during this pandemic, liaisoning with Tarrant County Public Health, UNT Health Science Center, all of our hospital systems. So first, let me say thank you for all the hard work that you've done on behalf of residents. Yeah, absolutely. So if you want to say anything, you can introduce oh. yourself. Yeah, well, um, front lines, uh, along with a lot of other people, the one thing that Fort Worth does very well yeah. is we collaborate uh, with uh, UNT Health Sciences, Texas Health Resources, Baylor, Scott & White, Tarrant County, and, and yeah. the other county health departments. Uh, and, and what's really nice about that is whenever we come uh, to do uh, I, things like this, that uh, we bring a breadth of knowledge that's very broad uh, and comes from uh, very talented, probably the most talented, yeah. I would say, uh, health experts that, that yeah. the nation has. I'm glad you brought that up because <clears throat> I'm not a doctor, I'm not a physician, I'm not a public health expert, um, but what I do know is I have an obligation as the mayor of this city yeah. to talk about the things that are affecting our residents, and right now it's COVID. Um, we understand how critically important um, getting as many people vaccinated as possible um, is to really combat uh, this Delta variant of COVID. Um, but as Brandon mentioned, we're not doing this on our own. We're not doing this in a silo. We are relying locally, and I mean that specifically, locally here in Tarrant County and Fort Worth, on the medical experts that all of us can trust, um, the leads of these hospitals, their public health um, officials. So I just wanted our viewers to understand that, that this is not something we just came up with on our own, but we did feel like it was important to specifically talk to people in Fort Worth about COVID. Absolutely, and so uh, it, it, this should come as no surprise yeah. that uh, the numbers are up. They're up nationally. Uh, we gave a briefing to council the end of June, and so here we are one month later, and we predicted the end of June that this Delta virus would first, first work its way through the unvaccinated rural areas mm -hmm. of the state and would then start working its way into the urban areas. And by about this time, we would see a very, very substantial uptick, which we've seen now. Mm -hmm. uh, what's important probably for everybody to understand before we get into any other detail, detail is that um, when you look at the hospitalization or the serious cases of COVID right now, 97% are unvaccinated. We've mm -hmm. had some breakthrough cases. Uh, oftentimes that's people with underlying medical conditions, but not all the time. Yeah. Uh, but 97% are unvaccinated. And then you look at the death uh, rate uh, right now and it's 99.5% unvaccinated. Um, I mean, the, the, the numbers alone um, should, should say to the public, uh, your best chance of getting through this is, is to be vaccinated. Yeah. We know that vaccination has side effects um, beyond just feeling maybe uh, flu-like symptoms, maybe a little pain in the arm uh, of less than 1%, it's actually less than half a percent uh, side effects to the vaccine. And so when you, you measure out the risk, you're far better off or far less risk getting the vaccine than going without. Yeah. Well, and for me personally, when I got the vaccine, this is important for everybody to understand, we're encouraging everyone to talk with loved ones, family members, friends you trust, um, your own physician about getting a vaccine first and foremost. That's what I did. You know, I didn't jump and go immediately. Um, I wanted to talk to my personal physician to understand for my own health condition if there was any risk associated, and I got the vaccine. And importantly, in Tarrant County, not just your government entities, um, the City of Fort Worth and Tarrant County Public Health, um, but your private sector partners have been phenomenal to make sure that we have safe, effective access to the vaccine I mean, in many places as possible to reach people where they are. Um, my own experience took me five minutes literally each time to get in and get out and get the vaccine. And, and even you know, after the monitoring period, it was really quick. So yeah. um, I think that's important to know. You've had great partners along the way working with them, yeah? Absolutely, Good. and you know, we, we've moved from mass vaccinations where we were doing 10 to 30,000 a day yeah. uh, to much smaller pop-up uh, mm -hmm. storefront. We'll come to your place, we'll come to your church, we'll come to your group of businesses. Um, we're doing everything that we can to get as many people vaccinated mm -hmm. in that short a period. You know, that what we're seeing from the, the hospitals right now is uh, oftentimes when a patient, when they're so sick that they have to be intubated, right? That, that the one thing that they say more than anything else is, are you sure I can't get a vaccine now? Mm -hmm. and, and the doctor has to explain to them, now is too late. That, yeah. that you need to get vaccinated 
you know, weeks before um, you get to this this condition, mm -hmm. before you get the virus. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Well, that's the most important message for us today is that um, in Tarrant County, that our vaccines are safe, they're effective, they are incredibly accessible wherever you may need them. And we wanna be that resource for you to understand that. And we've, we've upheld our responsibility um, as a city of Fort Worth to make that happen. But importantly, making sure that you're empowering yourself, talking to your friends and loved ones about their decision to get a vaccine, maybe where they got it that was easiest for you and your family, and then talk to your medical providers. Yeah. Um, the other kind of myth that's been out there is that it's expensive to get in a vaccine, right? Yeah. Or that you don't have insurance. That is absolutely not the case. Um, we wanna make sure the uninsured, insured, that this is accessible and really free um, for, for almost everyone that wants to get a vaccine. It, it's free at the pharmacies, yeah. it's free at the public sites. In fact, one, one of the things I'm really proud about Fort Worth is we don't even ask for people's insurance yeah. card. That We've made it so simple that you can do a, fill out a form on your, your smart device or on a computer. We've got them available when you arrive That's if great. you don't have one. Uh, there's a little barcode that you can use uh, that we'll, we'll scan when you arrive to get your vaccine. And like you said, you get right in, get your vaccinated. We watch you for a few minutes to make sure there's no side effect to it, and then and then off you go. It yeah. couldn't get any freer or easier than yeah. that. Well, and the good news is I know, you know, the news can be scary sometimes, and there's a lot of discussion about the Delta variant, but the most important thing is right now, we can handle this, right? Yeah. We've been through a tremendous amount of struggle in the last year and a half. Um, we are fully prepared to get um, Tarrant County residents vaccinated. And um, once we do that, we can fight back this pandemic and get back to whatever semblance of normalcy, um, which I know we're ready for. And that's important. We've got some big moments happening in the next few months as kids get back to school, right. which is for me, the number one priority, make sure our students are back in classrooms um, to catch them up from this COVID slide, which is significant. Um, and then of course, as fall comes around and people are, you know, football season's happening, right? Um, everybody wants to get back to normal for that. So all those are big moments that us as Texans and Fort Worthians are excited about. So let's just do our part to make sure we can get a vaccine. Absolutely. Yeah, awesome.